in, in a context where you see a husband and a wife and one or the other of them is clearly not progressing. They're doing things that are really insensitive to their spouse and not in the best interest of the team. Yeah. How, how does training fit into that? Yeah. I feel like one of the best things a wife can do when her husband is like maybe kind of like repeatedly, like maybe in a rut or repeatedly kind of like not on the same page or something is to pray for older older men around him to step up to the plate. Because I think that that's really where men can can rise to the challenge is instead of like his nagging wife, like wearing him out and finally, okay, he does the thing, like having an older man call him into something higher than himself and help him see that like a bigger picture of what's going on and training him how to do those things. And maybe even pointing out like, hey, this is a super selfish behavior need to repent of that. Like, it'd be really hard for a wife to be able to say that to a husband and for it to go well. I think it, I think the reason that doesn't go well is because it's not really the, the order that God put down in scripture for us to follow. And so I think that having an older man speak into a younger man's heart is kind of the way God set things up. And we need our husbands to be being challenged and it's not, you know, this, I'm speaking to a believing, in a believing context, that that's what makes sense for us, is that older older men need to, and, and the way, unfortunately, the church hasn't really done us any favors with this either, because I think we have gotten away from this a lot. And so there's a lot of, the older generation might not necessarily be counting this as a priority for their time. Because we have this retirement culture, we think like as we get older, like we're working towards more and more freedom of responsibility and getting away from people needing us. We're going to get away from our job. We're going to get away from our kids. Once they turn 18, we're just going to get away from, we're going to sell our house and get a condo so we have less responsibility. But really, I think scripture called us into like taking more and more on. And part of that is like taking on the responsibility of those younger than us, because now we finally have some wisdom to offer then we need to like turn around and like train people who are coming up behind us. And that's just the continuation of like the selfless nature of what Jesus is calling us into. 